This is um, a Yongcheng uh, Marken period Guan uh, vessel in the shape of uh, Hu. And um, it's archaistic, obviously, and comes from the period and group of uh, vessels where the uh, imperial uh, porcelain manufacturers uh, under the guidance of the uh, Qianlong and Yongcheng emperors strive to recreate uh, original um, archaic bronzes, like the one example we see here. You can quickly see the similarity. It starts uh, with the masks uh, and, and the handles. It then goes all the way from the uh, slightly lozenge or square-shaped necks, and then obviously the classic who form. What has to be known is that many of these vessels were actually excavated for the first time in the uh, Kangxi and specifically uh, Yongcheng and, and Qianlong eras, and it really created a hype at the time. Uh, lots of people were, were uh, uh, fascinated by those ancient cultures in China at the time. Uh, lots of uh, archaistic copies exist. Uh, in this case, an imperial one uh, with the uh, Yongcheng mark here. This is, uh, here's the Yongcheng mark and also the typically uh, dark brown wear uh, foot that this type, this group of vessel has. The glaze is a Guan type glaze. Uh, this is this uh, very specific, very thick, uh, unctuous glaze, uh, wavy glaze uh, with these distinct patterns of crackling. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the mask, as we can see here, is a lot more uh, uh, profiled with about two, three centimeters high. The rings are not movable. Uh, unlike here, much more functional, the mask is very small and the ring is massive, so really that this can be carried. So it's a total opposite. Here's an artistic variant of, of, of this design. There is uh, one example that is identical, that was sold, I think, at Christie's in Paris, if I'm correct? That's right, in Christie's, uh, at Christie's in Paris in 2011, over 28,000 euros. Yes, and then there is another Guan type vessel. Yes, a Fang Hu, also Yongcheng mark, and of the period. This one with uh, Rui scepter loop handles. Yeah, instead of, instead of those uh, uh, monster masks here. Yes, the form is almost the same, it's just the handles are different and the size is a little bit larger. And this one was sold at Sotheby's in Hong Kong in 2006 for almost one and a half uh, million Hong Kong dollars. So that's something around 150,000 euros today and has still to be adjusted to inflation, so probably something around 200,000 today.